Women in tech, a topic that we talk about a lot, but not many people take actions and actually make it happen at tech conferences or in technology in general. I'm here with Huma, who's representing a lot of us women who are in technology in a lot of different areas. You cover a wide array of, of responsibilities that you do here at Cisco. I would love to learn more about everywhere that you've been. Thank you for having me, Kamal. There's definitely, you know, a lot of people ask me this question that one, what are you so passionate about? Why are you so passionate about women in tech? Um, and also, how do you do it? Um, I think it goes a lot back into that I grew up in Pakistan. I have lived most of my life there. I have, you know, did my undergrad there. But once I stepped into this global space, global tech space, mm -hmm. I not only that I found that there, women in tech is a minority, but women in tech and women of color are even, uh, you know, really hard to find. Yeah. So. Um, that's really motivated me. Um, I was looking for my own journey. You know, I was looking for mentorship. I was looking for role models. I was looking for where do I go? What else can I do? And in the just doing that discovery for my own self, I found that what I was looking for, a lot of other women in tech were also looking for. So that really, you know, um, helped with everything that I do, which mm -hmm. I would like to mention. Um, I serve on the women of. Um, Cisco America's board, mm -hmm. and we just had a session this morning on the topic of DE and I and sustainability, mm -hmm. which is you know an, an emerging field, and, and the intersection between the two is so important to understand and discuss. Uh, I also work um, a learning and certification team as a product manager. We recently launched Cisco U, which mm -hmm. is uh, a personalized learner experience, new digital platform for uh, learning and certification. It, it really helps our learners and our businesses to train their team in the latest you know, technology with cutting edge training, training solutions. Um, so throughout the journey, I think that my main theme has been connecting, learning, and growing. Mm -hmm. uh, connecting through community, helping you know, uh, keep on learning new things, and then and growing in your career, growing professionally, and, and growing personally. Yeah. So that has been a theme, and you will find me in a, in a number of places within Cisco and outside of Cisco in different women in tech communities, mentoring, um, sponsoring, and, and talking about these topics. Yeah. I know for sure I have been following you on social media, and you know we've been in touch off and on, and it's very inspiring to see you be able to take that initiative and take that step. And I'm pretty sure many of the viewers would want to know, how do they get started? Where do they get started with this? I think that's a, that's a lot of, a lot of people do ask this question because a lot of us do want to change things and uh, create an impact. But I also feel like we sometimes get stuck with like, what is that big thing that I can do? Mm -hmm. You know, where's that big thing where I can go and create an impact? My personal experience has been that you can start where you are, what you do, in the space that, and the resources that you have. And once you start creating difference, you know, in where you have influence, then the, the circle of influence and the surf, circle of impact keeps getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. Um, I did not start with a lot of these things that I do today. I was one of one of those, um, you know, women in, women in tech looking for opportunities for myself. I also transitioned into product management role from engineering. So I was looking for how do I make this shift from where I am and where I would like to go. So I think the, the key and the message here for everyone is you can start where you are and you can start the impact and the influence in your space. And if you're passionate about it, it will continue to grow. Yeah, yeah. And, and often people have that hesitancy, right? Like, is this the right thing? Is this the right, do you, have you ever come across people who you've mentored or people who might be looking for some additional support or help? Where would, where would women like that go uh, in terms of you know, getting the support or um, just finding that little group who can be their support system? Right. I believe that communities play such an important role, and especially with, you know, with DevNet, uh, such community focus on learning and certification, also very community focused. Women in Cisco is a community, so I think a lot of us actually find relevance and like-minded people if we connect with them, and that's really, that's, that's when really your journey you know, gets, 
get started and, and gets accelerated because then you will find people who are like you, which inspire, which you know is right. a source of inspiration. You will also find people who can mentor you and help you. They may have done something similar, mm -hmm. and you may also find sponsors, which is which are different from from mentors, and they can help you land the opportunities where they have influence. So um, I believe that community is a great great way to get started. Um, if you have any local communities in, in your area, of, you know where you work in in the domain that you work in, um, that's a that's a really get you know, getting started uh, to find the people that you are looking for. And then once you start the community journey, I also felt like doing volunteer work uh, really, really, you know, helps you and set you up to the kind of exposure that you may be looking for in your next job or in your next role. I think I have I have acquired a lot of skill just by doing volunteer work. Um, and all of that really ties into what I do today with Cisco U. Yeah, no, that's, it's a great point you bring up. I know women just having that nurturing aspect of our personalities, I think it's, it's important to kind of feed both those areas. You learn in tech, you grow in tech, um, explore the resources, even if you're not a technical person, feel free to explore the resources available, get involved, start learning small chunks, small pieces, get, meet with people, network with people, and then just that volunteer opportunity, right? There's always those stretch assignments, those extra things that you can do on the side. Inspire yourself and inspire others. Oh,